Past Monday, New York and the nation remembered those whose lives were lost in the 10th anniversary of the 9-11 tra tragedy. A memorial has unveiled, was unveiled that included the names of every person whose life was ended prematurely. But right here in the Bronx, one man honored those living or those lives um, with his very own memorial by building a replica of the Twin Towers in his own front yard. The creator, Ma Matthew Galchik, is here to join us right now. Welcome to the set. Thank you. Can you tell me, I, I understand the tragedy, the, the lives lost, everything that goes into 9-11. Can you tell me what was your connection to 9-11 and making this sacrifice? Um, you really put your own heart and energy into this memorial. Can you tell us what went into it? A lot of people lost that day. People that were just going to work, people that were doing their everyday jobs, and for 10 years we've been hurting as a nation. A lot of, something was taken from us that day, and they've been talking about building something in Manhattan for such a long time, and the people needed something. They needed something more, like for the anniversary. So I said what I was going to do is I was going to build the Twin Towers and bring them back, even just for a couple of weeks. I was going to bring them back, and I did. I noticed in the backyard you have the Twin Towers, but also here on the set you have an iron cross that was pretty much forged from the steel from uh, ground zero. Can you tell me, I, I understand as like a private citizen, this is the total dedication, this is a labor of love. Can you tell me, I, I understand how you feel um, and how we all feel about 9-11, but having that memorial here in the Bronx and bringing back the Twin Towers, how does it feel on the 10th anniversary? I didn't know how to feel at first when I first built them. I didn't know how anybody would take them. I thought maybe they would just throw me out of the neighborhood. But as we dropped those towers in, they, they, they looked very impressive. The first one went in, and when the second one went in, everybody says, my God, he did it. He brought them back for us. And the people that were walking by says, this looks fantastic. And from that moment on, I felt great. I knew I did the right thing. I really did. I've seen images of the, the towers. I haven't had an opportunity to stop by and, and take a look yet. But I've seen images of the replica towers that you created. And um, they are, you know, very true to form. A lot of people don't actually remember, you know, the World Trade Center as it stood before the 9-11 tragedy. But they were amazing towers. They were amazing buildings. And especially when, with the loss and the tragedy, we all are trying to move forward 10 years later, but you have to remember the past in order to move forward. Can you tell me what does it mean and how long will you have this, this um, replica and this remembrance in your yard? They're only gonna be up for maybe another week, week and a half. I was gonna bring them down yesterday. Okay. But the outpouring of support is phenomenal. I mean, I must have had a thousand people pass by my house in the last 10 days. The greatest part is the young children. They've never seen them. They walk up to them, I let them touch it and feel it, and I say, this is what we had in Manhattan. This is actually it. You know, you could read something in a book, you could watch it on TV, but to actually be there and feel it. And I've got grown men coming up to it and saying, this is what once was, this is what we had. And they walk away, I don't know how everybody feels, you know, they thank me and thank me. I'll never know why they're thanking me, you know. But I says, here's the people you have to thank. Those 343 firemen that ran into those buildings to try to save people. They knew that they had a chance of not coming out. And yet they went in. All the emergency medical people, the services, emergency services, they ran in there. They had wives and kids homes. They had families. They gave their lives to save people. When those towers came down, it uh, affected so many people. I just wanted to bring them back one last time, if just for a little while, to bring some reflection for some people. And that's all I wanted to do. Can you tell me how long did it take to construct the towers? Yeah, about two months. I would do it after work, you know, come home and on weekends. And it was the middle of summer, man. It was hot. It was real hot. And all I kept thinking, as bad as it's getting here, as hot as it is, those people in those towers had it worse than I ever will. And I had to complete this. I had to finish it, and I did. And it's my gift to the people of the Bronx and to this country. 
right now those towers that's something from the Bronx that the rest of the country can, can understand. Can you tell me about this cross? Um, how did you um, uh, come or find uh, steel from uh, the towers? Well, what happened, as soon as the towers went up, people were driving by like, oh my God, they're beautiful. And a, a friend of mine, I haven't seen him in years, says, I got something for you. And he dropped off this cross. This came from a girder from the Trade Center you know, a beam, a steel beam, and what those guys did was they cut out a couple of crosses, and he says, Matt, I got something for you right here. And I put it right in front of those towers. So they have meaning. I mean, this, is, this came from, from Manhattan. This here is the exterior material. It's, it's matting material, it's floor mats. That's all it is. I went to Home Depot and bought floor mats, painted them, and I drilled about 12,000 holes. This way the light shines out at night. And that's what I did. I dropped fluorescent lights into those towers, and at nighttime, it's mesmerizing. It's hypnotic. You walk up to them, and it, it, they just take control of you. How tall do the towers stand? They're 12 feet tall by 2 feet wide. And you said they'll be up for the next week or so. Yeah, and then after that, we want to donate them, actually. Jimmy Vaca is working on it with us. But they have to be kept inside because this stuff's only going to start to loosen up and fall apart, and we don't want that. We like to put them in a, a school or a museum or the botanical garden somewhere that the people in the Bronx can always walk through and, and look at them and people from all over the country say, hey, you know, that's what we had. Thank you. On the 10th anniversary, I know as a Bronxite, I appreciate this and we will always remember and we will never forget. Thank you.